So this way of looking at trauma is trauma as a form of learning. It may or may not be appropriate for some people if someone's just been in a war and they're having flashbacks or something, pathology model can work. However, we can think of any trauma symptom, in inverted commas, um, as actually as a type of learning. They've got good at something. Yeah? Um, unfortunately, they've also not got good at something else at the same time, which is why there is still uh, an issue there. So I'll give an example. Let's say someone has hypervigilance and they're particularly good at spotting dangerous people. You see how that's a skill, okay? Or let's say someone's a caretaker and they're particularly good at looking after other people to stay safe. That's a skill. You will actually get jobs and friends and love and all sorts of things on the basis of your trauma related skills. So as trauma strategies are ways to stay safe, they can be in fact very effective, very useful. The key thing is what skills are needed to balance them. For example, someone that's great at looking after other people isn't just okay at that, they're exceptional, they're here, but they might be less than average at looking after themselves. So they need to learn self.